Hey Dynamos, it's me Miss Drass here for Monday Math. We're going to be doing some problem solving, so you guys need to get your notebook out and draw our problem solving squares. I'm going to pause, or pause the video and get your notebook, and then we're going to draw the problem solving squares. Okay. Remember when we draw our problem solving squares, we leave lots of room. We have a top box, a middle box, and a bottom box. The first box is for notes. The second box is for solving. The last box is for the equation. Alright, here's my problem. Miss Drass had 32 cupcakes. And she gave 19 cupcakes to the dynamos to eat. How many cupcakes does Miss Drass have left? I'm going to repeat the story and we're going to take notes while I repeat the story. Miss Drass had 32 cupcakes. I'm not writing Miss Drass had. I'm just going to write 32 C for cupcakes. And then the dynamos ate 19 of them. If they ate them, did we add or did we subtract? We subtracted. So 19 cupcakes got subtracted and we want to know how many left. Are those good notes? Okay, so now we can solve. If I had 32, I'm going to start with 32. So I'm going to, hmm, I think I'm going to draw a number line for this. I'm going to put 32 at this end because we are subtracting. 19 is made of 110, so I'm going to jump back a 10. 10 less than 32 is 22. And then I'm going to have to go back 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This would be 21. This would be 20. This would be 19. This would be 18. This would be 17. This would be 16. This would be 15. This would be 14. This would be 13. So the dynamos have 13 cupcakes left. I started with 32, so I'm going to start my equation with 32. I'm going to say 32, take away 19, which is what I did, leave me with 13 cupcakes. All right? We're going to try another one. Don't erase your boxes, just erase what's inside them. Or if you're on a notebook, just start a new page. Okay. Miss Drass went out looking for seeds. We're going to look for seeds later this week. Miss Drass went out looking for seeds and she found mm, 25 seeds. And then she gave 12 of them to Brayden because he didn't have enough seeds. How many seeds does Miss Drass have left? All right, get ready to take notes. Listen, Miss Drass found 25 seeds. I'm not going to write Miss Drass found. I'm just going to write 25 seeds. Pause your video and write down 25 seeds. Then I gave Brayden 12 seeds. If I gave Brayden seeds, did I lose seeds or take away seeds or did I add seeds? I lost seeds because I gave them to Brayden. So I'm going to say minus 13, sorry, not 13. Minus 12 seeds. And then I want to know how many are left. This sounds a lot like the problem we did before. Pause your video and see if you can solve this problem.
in the solving box. I'm going to draw tens and ones this time. So I'm going to draw two tens and I'm going to draw five ones. And I gave 12 to Brayden, so I'm going to have to take away two ones and one ten. That leaves me with 13 seeds. How did we get the same answer on both problems? That was weird. I started with 25. I took away 12. And then I ended up with 13. If you have this box right, you can have a point. If you have this box right, even if you used a different strategy, not tens and ones, you can have a point. And if you have this box right, you can have a point. Erase what's in your boxes or start a new page. All right, let's say that there were 31 books at the book fair. And lots of people came by and they bought books, so they took them from the book fair. And they took 17 books. So they are taking away the books. They're not bringing more books to the book fair. So then I want to know how many are left. Okay, I'm going to repeat and make sure we got our notes right. There were 31 books at the book fair. 17 books got bought. How many were left at the book fair? Pause your video and solve in the solving box. Well, I started with 31, so I'm going to draw... I think I'm going to do a number line this time. And I'm going to start at 31 at this end because I'm subtracting. So to go 17, I'm going to have to go back a 10. 10 less than 31 is 21. And then I'm going to have to back up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 more. This would be 20. This would be 19, this would be 18, this would be 17, this would be 16, this would be 15, this would be 14. So 14 is my answer. So then we're going to write our equation. We had 31 books at the book fair and then 17 got bought and there are 14 left. If you got this box right, you can have a point. If you got this box right, even if you did a different strategy, you can have a point. If you got this box right, you can have a point. All right, I'm going to give you guys a hard one. All right, let's say that Ms. Strass had 48 Legos in a pile. And then she used 29 of them to build a house. How many Legos does Ms. Strass have left? Let's take notes. Ms. Strass said she had 48 Legos. I'm not gonna write Ms. Strass, I'm just gonna write 48L for 48 Legos. And then she used 29 of them to build a house. So they got used, they're gone. So I'm gonna take away 29 Legos. And then I wanna know how many are left. Pause the video and solve that problem. If I started with 48, I'm going to draw 10s and 1s. I started with 48, 
and then I need to take away 29. Hmm, this is a problem because I don't have enough ones. So I can get rid of a 10 and trade it for 10 ones, just like we do in calendar time. Now I can subtract 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. <clears throat> and then I need to subtract two tens because I'm subtracting 29. One, two. That leaves me with one ten and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine tens. Nineteen. So my equation is 48 take away 29 equals 19. If you got this box right, you can have a point. If you got this box right, you can have a point. If you got this box right, you can have a point. See you later.